Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Galaxy S10 Plus, the Exynos chipset and I am going to show how to flash the official latest project Elixir ROM on Galaxy S10 Plus with the help of TWRP recovery. Project Elixir official latest ROM is providing good speed, good battery life with a good quality of camera and this ROM is having a separate modification section in settings with the name of Essence. It have a bundle of modifications that you can do with your ROM the way you want. Things all are working right now like uh, fingerprint scanner, calling incoming calls, outgoing calls, SMS, incoming SMS, outgoing SMS, 4G LTE data, etc, etc. So starting the video by requesting that if you are finding my videos are helpful, then do not forget to subscribe my channel. Click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. Links are all provided in my video description. Make a new folder and download all these files which are required for the flashing procedure. If you haven't installed the Samsung USB driver on your Windows, then download this Samsung USB driver and first install this driver on your Windows. And then this is the Project Elixir ROM 3.12 currently latest version for Galaxy S10 Plus Exynos chipset. Android version is 13. If you want to flash this Project Elixir ROM on any other mobile, like if you are having Galaxy S10e or Galaxy S10, then you can check out the website, official website of Project Elixir. You can download the ROM, you can flash, but you need to download the ROM file according to your mobile phone model and also you have to use the TWRP according to your mobile model. This particular recovery file is only for Galaxy S10 Plus. Now after downloading all the files extract the Odin 3.13.1 first then open the extracted folder of Odin. Double click the Odin file click OK on next window. The Odin will get open. Check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum. The most important thing of the flushing procedure is to have an unlock bootloader of the mobile phone. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I will leave the tutorial video link in my video description. You can watch that video. Unlock the bootloader first, then you can follow the further steps. Must save all the internal storage data, your pictures, videos, etc, etc because this flushing procedure will format everything. My Galaxy S10 Plus is dual SIM variant. Model number is G975F oblique DS. I will go to software information. Your mobile phone Galaxy S10 Plus must have the stock, uh, latest stock firmware. Like currently I have One UI version 4.1 and Android version 12. Tap the build number for 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Developer mode has been enabled. We'll go back to settings and uh, scroll down. We'll tap to open the developer options. You can see that I cannot see the OEM unlocking on my developer options. How to bring the OEM unlocking back here? Let me show. First of all, you must connect the mobile phone with internet and after that go back to settings then tap software update and tap the download and install. Let the set to check the update once my mobile phone is updated to the latest version of Android 12. So I will go back now to settings then we'll tap to open the developer options once again. And now this time you will see the OEM unlocking is back. It is not prominent because my mobile phone is having already an unlock bootloader. But you must bring the OEM unlocking back. You can see that OEM unlocking is over here. So the Odin mode screen will get changed and we can flash the recovery without any trouble. Now I will go back to settings. Now if you have any account like example samsung account or google account must sync all your login account then must log out from any account like you are using it sync it once and then must remove it also go to your lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe 
now if you have done all these things and if you are having an unlock boot loader of your mobile phone you can simply power off the mobile phone now and when mobile phone gets power off properly then we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode for that hold the cable in your left hand and check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume down key and Bixby key press it hold then connect the cable soon you will see a warning screen on your mobile phone release all the uh, both keys and then press the volume up key once to boot into Odin mode the Odin mode screen must be like the KG state must be checking FRP lock must be turned off OEM lock must be turned off and in a bracket you will see U which means that the boot loader is already unlocked Odin is also showing COM3 which means that mobile phone got detected by the computer and also by the Odin now come here and click AP then go to your downloaded folder where I have downloaded all the files and uh, I will select this time the TWRP 3.7.0 beyond to LTE dot tar click on it then click open the Odin will boot the custom recovery then click cp go back to that downloaded folder and this time select the vbmeta dot tar by clicking on it then click open now Odin is ready we have to do one more thing that is will i will go to options then i will untick the auto reboot from here then we'll go back to log and then we'll click start the customer recovery will start flashing and it will be done soon you can see succeeded one pass means that the customer recovery flashed click reset and click exit and you can go back to your downloaded folder i will come back towards the mobile phone mobile phone still booted into odin mode now we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery that must be twrp for that I have to press the first the volume up key then volume down key then Bixby key and power key all four keys need to be press and hold it press when the set gets restart first release the volume down key and when you see Samsung logo then release the power key and after when you see the custom recovery you can release both keys that must be volume up key and Bixby key starting the procedure of uh, booting the mobile phone into custom recovery press and holding the volume up key then volume down key Bixby key and power key when set gets restart I will leave the volume down key first and uh, when I see the Samsung logo releasing the power key but still I'm keep holding press the volume up key Bixby key just waiting for the set to boot into custom recovery then we'll release both keys here we go the team one recovery screen appears I have released rest both keys swipe here to allow modification now the first thing that we have to do is to check the internal storage on the computer screen that already appears I will double click on it and if I see all the folders are not with the proper names which means that the internal storage got encrypted we have to make the internal storage decrypt for that tap the wipe section first then tap format data and type YES here then tap here done then go back to the main screen and tap reboot then tap recovery so booting back to custom recovery first thing we have to swipe to allow the modifications then we'll go to settings then to third menu and to make the screen time out to maximum we'll go back to the main screen now the important thing if you want like you want to back up your current firmware which is currently installed on your mobile phone then you can tap the backup over here and if you want to make a changes over here like if i want to make a backup i will select the system image vendor image product image and dbt dtb dtbo bizband efs that's all then i will swipe when it is done then you can go back to the main screen 
and the internal storage got appears already on my computer screen i will double click the internal storage and only the twr twrp folder will be appears on the internal storage of the mobile phone we'll go back to my downloaded folder now starting the procedure and i will copy the project elixir 3.12 rom from here we'll go back to my internal storage of mobile phone on main hub partitions then i will copy that rom file over here and when file gets copied you can uh, close the internal storage on your computer and we are done from the computer coming back towards the mobile phone disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now and starting the flushing procedure by tapping the first wipe then advanced wipe selecting the delvic art cache then selecting the system vendor product data cache that's all swipe done then go back to the main screen tap install select the file name the rom file that i just copied by tapping on it then swipe the flushing procedure will start the flushing of project elixir rom will start it will take a time now just wait let the flushing complete then i will continue when flushing done then you can simply go back to the main screen and tap reboot then tap uh, system the mobile phone will start booting into project elixir android 13 rom soon the first boot will take a little bit time welcome to your pixel complete the setup screen so finally we got the rom flashed very perfectly we'll go to settings then we'll go to about phone and white version 13 this is the pro official project elixir your device is officially supported and white version 13 and white security update september 1st 2023 rom info elixir rom 3.12 build date rom got flash very perfectly enjoy the rom enjoy the custom ported rom on your mobile phone galaxy s10 plus do not forget to like the video keep sharing it with others thank you so much take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye